students in the last lecture we have studied about current transformer potential transformer what is what is the circuit of current transformer and uh, equivalent circuit and its phasor diagram as we know that uh, two types of error has been occurred in current transformer one is ratio error and another is phase angle error in the last lecture we also deal that what is ratio error it is the it is the ratio of difference between nominal ratio minus actual ratio upon actual ratio and phase angle error is defined as the angle by which the secondary current phasor when reversed differ in phase from the primary current is called the phase angle error today we will derive the derivation of ratio error and phase angle error here is a section of phasor diagram of ct which is the first half of the phasor diagram of ct ct we see that it is oa has is a n n of is which is secondary current refer to primary side we extend this line to ab and draw a perpendicular from c to b we draw this perpendicular li line because we apply the formula of sin theta and cos theta there we need a right angle triangle so that we have extended this line now we have ab ab equals to i not this of it is it is i not which is parallel to this value and this angle is 90 degree minus alpha plus delta and this angle is equivalent to this angle plus this angle because this angle is equal to this angle again i am saying that this angle is equal to this angle that is this angle is 90 degree minus of alpha plus delta and from parallelogram it is exterior angle and it is equal to this angle that is 90 minus alpha plus delta this angle now now here is ab ab is equals to i not cos 90 minus alpha plus delta that is this value is i not it is i not which is parallel to this value and cos of this value is ab it is ab cos of this value i not now i not sin or it is converted into sin that is 90 minus L alpha plus delta is equals to sin alpha plus delta similarly bc value bc value is equals to bc value is equals to sin 90 i not this value i not into 9 i not sin 90 minus alpha plus delta this value this value is cos of this value and this value is sin of this angle as you already know in the right angle triangle we take component of this value of sin and cos here is that that is i not sin 90 minus alpha plus delta is equals to i not cos alpha plus delta now oc oc is equals to here o and c is equals to phasor sum of ab oab plus bc oa plus ab plus bc now oc is equals to ip primary current and ab is equals to n into is plus this value i not sin alpha plus delta plus this value bc is i not cos alpha plus delta now phasor is represented in uh, resultant of this phasor sum is equals to ip ka whole square as you know that whole square of all component now ip you convert uh, you convert this value in simple simplified form as ip is equals to this value now ip is equals to root under n square is square plus 2 ns it is a simple mathematical derivation now transformation ratio of ct current transformer that is r r is your actual ratio of current transformer which has already 
told that IP upon I is. That is primary current upon secondary current. IP is here and put this value and I is whole ka power half. We come into the uh, root of the value then it is I S square and whole of the root under. Now this value is divided and it is simplified in this form. Let us consider that or we already know that I naught is I naught is the no load or exciting current which is very very small with respect to secondary current. As we know a formula that 1 plus x ka root under is equals to 1 plus x by 2 by binomial expansion because this value is very very small. So we convert it into the binomial expansion as n plus i naught sin alpha plus del upon i s. It, it becomes half and half is cancel out each other. Now uh, actual ratio is equals to n plus i naught sin alpha plus delta upon i s. Using phasor diagram, as we see in the last lecture also, that is I naught is equals to I naught I naught of cos is equals to I naught cos alpha mu value I mu magnetizing current and um, I naught of sine alpha is equals to I w that is core loss component of current transformer. Here we put that value. Uh, converted into this formula, trigonometrical uh, formula and this value I naught sin alpha is equals to I w and I naught cos alpha is equals to I mu. This is the actual ratio of the trans city trans city and nominal ratio we know that nominal ratio is we have already uh, told that rated primary current upon rated secondary current. It is nominal ratio. From this two um, figure value we calculate percentage ratio error of the current transformer. Now phase angle error theta. Theta. As in this phasor diagram here is the Theta is the angle between the secondary current referred to primary side and the primary current. Then tan theta is equals to, this tan theta is equals to BC. That is this BC, P value, perpendicular value upon OB. That is base value. This theta is equals to, tan of theta is equals to BC upon OB. That is OB. BC is equals to I naught cos alpha plus delta upon NIS plus I naught sin alpha plus delta from the phasor diagram. Here I naught sin alpha plus delta is very very small value. So for small theta we know that tan of theta is approximately equals to theta. That is theta is equals to I naught cos alpha plus delta upon n of i s and i naught sin alpha is very very small. So it can be neglected here. Now compute this trigonometrical value formula in the cos alpha cos delta minus i naught sin alpha sin delta. Here theta is equals to again we can write i naught cos alpha is the magnetizing component of current and i naught sin alpha is the core loss component of the current i w then upon n i s. If this value is in radians, we can convert this value in the degrees also. And this is called the phase angle error theta. We compute this from, a, in the next lecture, we will study about potential transformer and we will do our numerical. Thank you.